We have a free trial for Assassin's Creed Mirage on the Epic Games Store by this day, so I decided to give it a try and see if they improved the HDR from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, to say that Assassin's Creed Valhalla HDR needs an improvement <laughs> is an understatement, okay? We're talking about probably the worst HDR I've ever seen. <laughs> it's broken. Uh, it's, it's that bad, okay? So they definitely improve things here. Now, something that's less worse is not necessarily good. And we now have RTX HDR, thanks to NVIDIA. So thank you very much. And you can see a monumental difference. And I don't really understand how the developers having access to that quality, they, they just think this is okay. I think... At this point, the developers should have RTX HDR as a reference point and they should release a game that looks significantly better. <laughs> the HDR looks significantly better than with RTX HDR. Why? Because that's just AI or whatever, um, gamma correction, whatever NVIDIA is doing, that's just like generic. See, there's no... There's not a work specifically for the game, you know, that has any you know, creator's intent. <laughs> so it just does not make any sense at this point to have any new game coming out with a native HDR that's just worse than RTX HDR. And you might think, no, actually, this is good. You don't need so much brightness you know rtx hdr looks overly saturated okay this is actually the creator's intent so you should be okay with it okay no i'm sorry no <laughs> this just looks washed out it looks dull you feel like hdig is not bright enough and and when you use rtx hdr it just seems like you are getting a new tv Okay, it's like your display is suddenly more capable of giving you better picture quality. Okay, and when you have that feeling, I mean, you that, that cannot be wrong. Okay, you don't need to be an expert to see what, you know, what is beautiful. Okay, beauty is, is just, it's subjective. But at some point, we can all agree. <laughs> and we can all establish what is good and what is not good so yeah it is trash it's not that bad when it comes to the black levels okay when you go to a dark scene yeah it's kind of washed out but the black levels it, it's okay you might even have zero blacks and all of that but it, it it looks dull okay it's just not bright enough this is a bright sunny day on the desert and it's not pushing all the brightness of the tv Okay, it's, it's not, and it, it's just not good enough. Okay, uh, this cannot be the creative intent. Okay, I'm sorry. So, yeah, use RTX HDR, and now you might think, oh, I don't like RTX HDR because my frame rate goes down. And for example, right now I'm getting like 115 frames per second. My GPU is like 95%, so that's a good performance. I, I definitely want to play like that. And when I use RTX H HDR, my frame rate goes down to 100. Okay, so I'm losing like 15 to 20 frames per second. That's massive, <laughs> okay? And you might not be okay with that. We have two more options. We can use Auto HDR, so you can force Windows 11 Auto HDR using a program that I share with you. Link in the description of the video. That program is, is called Leod Edge. And you can download it from GitHub. Link in the description of the video. For the video I made about it and also for that program. Very, very easy. You just double click. You copy the file of where the executable is and done. Okay, you get Windows 11 Auto HDR. It's going to be bright. It's going to be better than this. In my opinion, it will be better. In my opinion. Now, this is the native HDR tweaked. And I did increase the exposure 
and lower the peak brightness. So this is me trying to get the best picture quality, but still, that's not better than Windows 11 Auto HDR. And now, that's easy. But now, even better than that, in my opinion, is Major Paint the Cactus. This reshade add-on, it's just absolutely amazing. It works very well for Assassin's Creed Valhalla too, okay? And it does take a little bit more work. Link in the description of the video. Check that out. This reshade add-on called Major Paint the Cactus. This is like the best, the best auto HDR I've seen. And maybe RTX HDR can look better sometimes, but the thing is the performance hit. Okay, that's where, that's where you, you just, it's just not gonna be okay losing all those frames. Uh, for all games. Some of them might not be a big deal. It depends on your system, of course. If you have a 40 series GPU, maybe the performance hit is not as big. But here with my 3080, RTX HDR is, is, a, is massive, okay? Is it worth it? Yes, <laughs> okay? And actually the first day I opened this game, I, I didn't want to just mess around with major paint the cactus. I just wanted to, to see how good it looks, so I I straight up use RTX HDR. I did not even try <laughs> the native HDR because I knew that was not gonna be good enough knowing this, you know, the Assassin's Creed track record, basically. Ubisoft has some very good uh, HDR games, but you know, they have different studios. I don't know who is the guy working on these Assassin's Creed games, but he's still doing a great job. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Also, I've been out for a while now, and some of you might think, oh, what happened? <laughs> okay, um, the channel, I'm, we're still gonna keep the channel going, okay? But the thing is, I've, I have not turned on my PC to play games in the last week, because I've been very busy studying for my new opportunity. I'm going to be moving soon. So, you know, when I don't play games, and I don't watch any videos, any gaming-related videos, then I don't know what to talk about, <laughs> okay? So we need some help over here. Let me know what's going on in the world of gaming. What are the new games that just came out? If we need to take a look at a specific game that's kind of messed up or whatever, even when you know we do have all these options already, but maybe there is something I can do for the community. Uh, maybe, you know, this, this new display is coming out. Of, of course, I know the G3 uh, the G4 actually <laughs> came out. Um, I'll see if I can record a video uh, at the Best Buy, and I can see also the S95D, just to do a rant about it. <laughs> okay, um, I have a matte finish. Okay, just let me know what's going on. Um, what should I talk about? Because I've, I've, I, I'm rusty <laughs> right now. I don't even know what to talk about. I turn on the PC. I'm like, okay, let me try this. Assassin's Creed Mirage and see what's going on with gaming, but there are there are some new games um, And I don't even know What we have now what are the basically what are the things that you think I can uh, You know do something about it. I also received a review sample for uh, 3d glasses um, that come with um, an external hardware to put on your TV and a program, a specific software to, to watch 3D content. So basically, the program would convert the 2D into 3D and the glasses have a communication with the device that you have on the TV to make that uh, possible. And I was very excited to try that, but was still working on it uh, I had some issues because it is still very early, um, but yeah, that, that content is going to come at some point uh, once we figure that out, okay? And I still have a lot of content that I wanted to do with the uh, VR headset, but this takes a lot of time. The VR gaming is, <laughs> you think HDR is a mess, the VR gaming is like next level. And I have a lot to learn before I can share anything um, about VR. So, yeah, I also wanted to do some videos 
comparing the I bought it an iPhone 15 plus with a big screen and I wanted to compare that to my s23 ultra which a lot of people are saying that still um, the screen still looks better than the s24 for some reason Samsung messed that up uh, the colors look kind of dull or something I don't know um, so I wanted to make some comparisons between you know Apple Samsung and also try to match the white balance of the iPhone on my LG C1 because I actually enjoy I like a lot the white balance even when the S23 Ultra looks significantly brighter okay it looks better in my opinion so I want to do some content about that too even when those phones are already I mean the, the iPhone 15 plus is still uh, relatively new of course it's the latest well S23 is old but it looks better the screen is still better but I like the white balance for the uh, for the iPhone more so yeah that's the ideas that i had but again i've been <laughs> very busy and yeah completely out of out of gaming and out of touch with all the gaming related content i've not been watching any news nothing I'm just locked in and studying for my next opportunity as i'm gonna be moving probably in two months i'm gonna be moving and i'm gonna take with me the lgc1 of course but i think i'm not gonna be able to to move the plasmas because it's just too big this pioneer kuro i absolutely love it but it's it's too big too heavy and it would cost more than the than what i paid for it to just to move it i don't think i can justify that so i might have to hunt for plasmas <laughs> okay i always want to have a plasma um, now where I am moving I don't think I'm gonna find a good plasma because it's a it's a newer community usually plasmas you can find it in older communities people have them on their basement but if you move to a place where they are building new houses and everything is new um, yeah I don't think I'm gonna be able to find a plasma over there but let's see maybe <laughs> I get lucky and see what happened I want to have a plasma of course and I might be buying a new TV um, for the family, okay? And if I buy something new, it's gonna probably be um, a QD OLED because I already have WRGB um, and yes, the G4 is looking very good in the reviews and everything, but it's still a WRGB OLED. And I just wanna have something different also will be more content for the channel because if I get a G4 it would just be like same settings everything is the same maybe just try the new features and that's it <laughs> but if I get a QD OLED from Samsung then it's, um, it's something completely uh, new and different for the channel and I can make some comparisons uh, but I would not use it for myself I would still keep the C1 I would get that QD OLED for the family, but of course I would just make some videos side by side and all of that. So I might be coming soon. I might be coming. I would say that content might be coming in three months. So you know, still, um, we still have some time to go. But I, that's my that's my prediction. Something like that might happen. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions, and if you have any questions.